Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Oktaya here at JSA TV. I'd love to introduce you to Mr. Carl Berry. He's the general manager of Critical Power Solutions, the Power Quality Division at Eaton, also known as the title sponsor of the Data Center Austin Conference, DCAC, taking place in Austin this September 24th through the 25th. Welcome, Carl, to JSA TV. It's great to be here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, we're honored to have you. And for our viewers who might not already know, tell us a little bit about Eaton, who you guys are, what you're doing, what markets you serve. Absolutely. Well, you know, when you think of um, Eaton, we're a pretty large industrial manufacturer company, but we specialize in power management. So when you think of everything we need in life today, technology, uh, transportation, infrastructure, energy, all of that's not possible without power. And we are a power management provider um, addressing solutions across the globe for all kinds of applications and markets. Um, we're pretty much in every major market you can think of. Um, we're in 175 countries operating with 97,000 employees across the globe. Um, we really like to think of ourselves as a power management solution provider. We're here to help clients around the globe address their power management challenges, um, to be able to manage their power more safely, reliably, sustainably, and efficiently. Um, we're certainly in the mission critical space. In addition to uh, all the markets we serve, being in the mission critical markets is one of our key uh, aspects of our business. Um, from all the solutions that we have, from power management down through basically everything from the utility to the rack. Um, we have total portfolios of solutions to offer from power quality to power distribution, et cetera. We are a, a key player and an industry leader in all of the IT data center and other mission critical markets around the globe. And that leads me nicely into our next question here. You returned to DCAC this year as the event's title sponsor. What attracts you into this event and why is it important uh, for you to support it? Well, I'll tell you, I mean, uh, in the business we're in, we have an opportunity. A lot of clients attend a lot of shows, attend a lot of events. Um, we're represented well at those, but I really, we found DCAC last year and found it to be a very unique conference. I, I really personally like this conference. I think it is unique in the industry, unique in the sense that it is an excellent blend of having all the right data center ecosystem and operators present that you can network with, et cetera, which, which is obviously very important. But I really like the twist this year and the focus on the technology and what's going to drive that next high level of compute in our industry. There are some very influential speakers that are going to be there present, and we're just honored to be the title sponsor for this event. We're attracted to it because of its unique blend of technology and the future trends, in addition to the ecosystem and the data center operators that we know that will be present, many of which we partner with and do business with around the globe. Absolutely. And, and one of the themes uh, for DCAC 2019 is the fourth industrial revolution, which of course encompasses IoT, autonomous vehicles, virtual augmented reality, artificial intelligence, uh, and other next-gen technologies, uh, to, to your technology point. Ian has been, of course, very active in developing IoT and industrial IoT solutions. Can you talk a little bit about uh, how Ian supports these technologies? Well, I mean, you hit, you hit some big drivers there, you know, um, certainly from autonomous vehicles, augmented reality, virtual reality, consumer wearables, all of these big trends that are going to really shape the industry moving forward from the data center perspective. Um, and in other spaces as well, I mean, we're seeing this enabled a lot through IoT. Um, really, when you think about IoT, you're basically, from our viewpoint, enabling, you know, smart and intelligent power management solutions. So we're putting a lot of investment into all of our hardware and our software to be able to drive those intelligent 
decisions that can be made at a local level um, and really that are actionable based on data. Certainly is. And, and something that uh, struck me when I was looking over your, your website, it not only powers that data center infrastructure, but you, you guys are also committed to making them more energy efficient and cost effective. Can you tell our viewers how Eden is driving the industry sector forward there? Absolutely. Um, I mean, there's a couple things. You know, the, the, the data center operators looking at the two areas of a data center that a lot of a lot of times are part of the conversation. It's the footprint and it's the energy consumption. So everything we're doing from our portfolios, we're keeping those two things in mind as well as the total cost of ownership um, and, and evaluating all of our platforms. So grid aware capability is something that we really have invested in. We feel like we're leading in this space. So we have a new energy aware UPS portfolio where not only are we backing up and protecting the data center and the critical infrastructure and the data there, but we're providing the ability to actually be able to interact with the grid and get a return on the investment out of that deployed asset that exists in that data center, being able to participate with grid tie services and all of that, which is pretty phenomenal and pretty exciting because you're actually putting an asset that you've already deployed to use that can perhaps generate a new revenue stream for you in addition to reducing and optimizing your overall energy costs, which is one of the leading costs, obviously, within a data center. Plus, we're looking at footprint. You know, we're introducing a lot of new portfolios from gas insulated switch gear to next gen UPS offerings to compact 891 uh, switchboard offerings that are next gen and reduce the size of the envelope substantially, which allows increased power density for that data center operator. So um, we're pretty excited about some of these solutions we're bringing to the market that address addresses TCO um, and feel like we have a good portfolio there in that regard. Yeah, talk about newsworthy. You guys hit all the buzzwords. I just love this. You're talking grid integration, predictive analysis. That gives uh, our audience, uh, well, cost savings as well as an additional layer of cybersecurity. Can't, cannot not want that. <laughs> so Carl, where can our viewers go to learn more about Eaton? Well, thank you, Jamie. Um, we consider ourselves first and foremost a partner to our clients, not a supplier. We partner in solving their power management challenges. We do this through all our innovative technology and solutions and to learn more about them, please go check out uh, eaton.com slash data center or eaton.com slash energy, energy aware for our new energy aware capabilities. Yeah, love that. And we should also note that Kyle will be the welcoming address on the first day of the event. So uh, Kyle, another, another headline there for you. Um, if you guys want to check out DCAC and Carl and his team there, the dates are September 24th to the 25th, Brazos Hall in downtown Austin, Texas. Find out more at dcac-live.com. Also, we should note Carl's bringing other representatives from Eaton who will be available at DCAC to meet with attendees interested in learning more about Eaton. So with that, thank you, Carl, for joining us and for your time. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.